Yo, what's going on? Welcome to another edition of Viking Circle. I know you're wondering why am I sitting down right here? Well, because I'm waiting for DJ Wanham, who just so happens to be here. What's up, Viking man? Viking Circle, about to get this thing going. It's a little unorthodox today. Let's do it, man. But I know you're going to North Carolina or playing at you at well, Bank of American Stadium. Yeah for the third, well, I guess the fourth time in your career. So how you feeling? Man, I'm feeling excited, man. Every time I play there, it's always a, a big game for myself. So I'm excited to go down there, uh, get closer to home and, you know what I'm saying, see the fam. I know the family, they travel to every game. Have they been able to come up to Minnesota yet to check yeah. out the game? They haven't yet, but uh, they're coming up for my birthday uh, on the 31st, Halloween. Wow. Yeah, so they'll be here. That'll be their first one. That's uh, crazy. They're excited, man, yeah. 24? 24. Man, 24. You, so you're the youngest starter on the defense. Uh, I guess so. I'm, I'm, I'm learning that right now. I guess so. <laughs> Dang, I mean, pl playing with all those veteran guys, like, have, have you, you know, felt yourself, you know, take that jump in your career and, you know, I guess just learning a little bit more? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, I feel like it's coming. Uh, it's starting to emerge, you know what I'm saying? Just having Griffin and D and all those guys around me, you know what I'm saying? Just to, you know what I'm saying, show me the ropes and you know, continue to uh, propel me and, you know, push me to get better. So uh, it's great having them guys out there. Finally got your first sack of the season. Yep, finally, man. Fourth down. Fourth down. Right when we needed it most. Right when we needed it, man. Coach, <laughs> Dre, Coach Dre always tell me uh, the first one is the hardest one. So mm -hmm. got that one out the way. That was actually my first sack in Bank of uh, U.S. Bank Stadium. Wow. So, yeah, it was crazy, man. I had to get it. And that energy was crazy, right? Yeah, it was. You could feel it when I <laughs> when I celebrated. It all just came out of me, man. So I never really understood that the defense, I guess home defenses hear the crowd too, because you know, we get up loud to make sure the offenses don't hear, right. you know, make sure they don't hear their plays, but right. I mean, y'all get to feel it too. So like, what is it like on the defensive side of the ball, feeling the energy, feeling the crowd, like when they're at their loudest? I don't know, man. It's just, it's a, a feeling that you can't really explain. It's just like that it factor, that want to, to just, I gotta go make this play out, or I gotta do this. And mm -hmm. especially playing at home in front of your fans, man, it's, it's, it's different, man. So, I mean, of course, I know who you are, but Vikings fans don't really know who you are other right. than your last tweet that you tweeted, which was April 25th, 2020. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't, I don't really, I never really been to social media okay. uh, type, especially not Twitter, but I mean, I guess I got to get out a little bit, a little bit more, just a little bit, man. So outside of football, what's your hobbies? Outside of football, so uh, I like being in nature. I like, I'm a big country guy. Uh, okay. My pops is actually from the country, so, you know, horses, do, doing different things oh, like wow. that. Yeah, riding horses, uh, fishing. Um, ATVs, you know, I grew up with ATVs and four wheels and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. that's just pretty much my my, my big uh, thing I love doing. So from you're from Stone Mountain, Georgia. Yep. The high school you went to, including yourself, has 17 either former or current NFL players. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 we bring out a dog, a new <laughs> dog every year, man. It's, they coming out uh, every year, so that's 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 like a hot spot in Atlanta for us, man. I guess you're living up to to expectations as far as like, well, you, you go to this high school, you go to South Carolina. Right. The league is is pretty much in the picture at some point. So now living up to that expectation, do you think it's more pressure now to continue the success or was it getting out of where you were to actually make a name for yourself? Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's definitely pressure, but you know what I'm saying? You, I never really let the pressure get to me. I always, you know, be myself and, you know what I'm saying, have faith in God. So, you know, whatever happens is going to happen. So, I mean, just just being here and being able to play in the league is an unbelievable opportunity for me and my family. And we're going to, you know what I'm saying, we're going to keep thriving and keep going and getting better. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of family, you got a brother. Yeah. Playing South Carolina. Yeah. I feel like he's about to experience this. In the, I guess this, this upcoming season, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got one more year. Uh, at South Carolina, then he'll be out yeah, into the draft next year. Have you told him, like, your experience? Like, do how often do y'all talk about that as far as, like, the difference between college and the league? Oh, I told him, you know what I'm saying? I tell him all the time, but, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to tell him too much right now. Right. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because he's going to have to experience it eventually. But, you know what I'm saying? Just continue to get better, uh, fight out this college season that he got going. And, you know what I'm saying? And once he get here, here, I'll be able to show him the ropes for it. Coming from year one where every rookie, their head is just spinning. Right. Now that you, the game has slowed down a little bit, have you realized what the biggest difference yet is between college and the NFL or year one to year two? Oh, 100%. The game is uh, way more mental. Okay. It's like a uh, it's like a puzzle or like a chess game. And, okay. You know what I'm saying? Whoever got the best, the lead or whoever knows what's going to happen before it happens is, is usually the team that wins. So uh, just that's the biggest you know, saying, transition from college to the league. I guess this is just the start of many, right? Because last year after the bye week is when we went on that run. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that definitely. juice, you feel that juice is, is starting to pick up a lot? Oh, yeah, I definitely feel that juice, especially after getting these, you know, two, two wins, especially this big win this past game. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying? We just going to keep it rolling. We're going to keep going, keep getting better. And, 
You know what I'm saying? The sky's the limit for this team. The sky's the limit. DJ, appreciate you, big dog. Man, you appreciate you. Home. Yes, it's sir. It's going to be a big time, big time game for you, big time win. The family get to see you too. Yes, you ain't sir. Ain't got to travel too far. I can't wait, man. Let's do it. Yes, sir. That's DJ Wanham. This is Viking Circle.